Thank you very much, Chair Murray and Ranking Member Burr. And uh, thank you, uh, Secretary Sue, for being here today, and thank you for your willingness to serve. I want to start with two questions about retirement, and then I have a couple other questions if we get through those. As you know, the United States Department of Labor is tasked with helping more workers save for retirement and helping retirees protect and utilize their savings. We know that Americans of all ages are struggling to save for retirement, and many American workers and retirees are at risk of outliving their retirement savings. One recent survey found that one in five Americans in their 70s have less than $50,000 saved. As Deputy Secretary of Labor, what policies would you focus on to help American workers save more for retirement? Thank you very much, Senator. I think this is such an important issue. Americans work so hard uh, so that they can have a safe and, uh, and secure retirement. Um, I know from, uh, again, my, my mom's experience that um, the pension that she has that now, now allows um, she and my father to, to, to live in retirement um, is, is absolutely critical to their um, health and their well-being. Um, a couple of things on that. I would say, um, you know, th th the issue you're raising is why the multi-employer pension relief uh, that was part of the American Rescue Plan was so important. Again, just, uh, you know, making sure that employees who have been um, paying into the retirement and, and relying on their pensions, get them, is very, very uh, critical. And then um, I think that you know, retirement savers also need to get the kind of advice that they need for, um, to make sure that they're investing their retirement um, in the best way possible for themselves. And if confirmed, I look forward to, be, uh, to being briefed on the rulemaking process at the Department of Labor on this issue and to um, understanding what we can do uh, to better protect uh, retirees, which is a basic part of the fundamental mission of the department. Thank you. Um, in addition to helping more Americans save for retirement, I believe we also have to work to protect retirement accounts from potential cybersecurity threats. Yesterday, following a request from myself, Chair Murray, and House Education and Labor Chair Bobby Scott, the Government Accountability Office released a report highlighting the threat that cyber attacks pose to retirement plans. The report confirmed that cyber threats put private defined contribution retirement plans, like 401ks held by more than 100 million of Americans, at risk, and recommends that the Department of Labor take action to address this issue. I believe that Congress and the Department obviously must do everything that we can to prevent against these cybersecurity risks. So as Deputy Secretary of Labor, what policies would you focus on to help ensure the security of retirement plans? So um, I think that issue of ensuring against uh, cyber attacks, we, you know, we've certainly seen again in the, in the last year and even in this conversation just how important that is. Um, and I would, uh, again, uh, seek a full briefing from the department on the steps that are already in place, do an assessment along with um, the secretary on uh, whether, what else we need to do, uh, how we need to make sure that they're stronger and definitely consider this a, a, a very high priority, especially as you know, we know that the president has actually called for providing almost all workers with access to a, to, to a 401k of some sort. So um, I, I think that it, it just, it absolutely will be a priority uh, for me and, and for the department. Well, I also think it's going to take convening uh, not only uh, government uh, experts and agencies, but the private sector too. Absolutely. Um, because this has to be a joint effort, and it's critically important to the economic security of so many Americans, right? Uh, without a doubt, and I think that is a you know the the point of creating more public private partnerships, especially in things like this where there is tremendous expertise in the private sector, uh, bringing that to bear on the challenges that we face in government is I think also very very important, and I look forward to um, learning about partnerships that already exist and 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 building on those, and also um, finding where there are gaps and making sure that we fill them. All right, let's turn to thank you, and let's turn to one other issue quickly. As Secretary of the California Labor and Workforce Development Agency, you have firsthand experience executing traditional unemployment insurance programs and expanded benefits at the state level. While states have primary responsibility for distributing unemployment insurance, the Department of Labor plays a significant role as well. Based on your own experience, how can the Department of Labor better support states administering these programs, and should Congress consider reforms to improve the administration of unemployment insurance going forward? 
Yes, yeah, so thank you, Senator. I see that I don't have a lot of time, but I'll try to say, I do think yeah. this connects to Senator Kane and uh, uh, Senator Murkowski, the points about um, we have an opportunity now to look at the unemployment insurance system, how it works and how it doesn't. Um, at, at the first level, I would say that the Department of Labor in providing consistent and clear guidance is absolutely critical um, to the states. Uh, and, and I, again, have seen firsthand uh, um, how, how uh, the importance of that consistency. Um, and I think that there are also, because it is a federal state program, many opportunities for better collaboration, uh, both on the administration of benefits and on the fight against fraud um, from the, uh, in a collaborative way between the federal government and all the states. Thank you very much. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you.